about one year prior to that Halloween, when the sun dips below the tree line and the autumnal air flows through the open door, just when your senses begin to slip away, you realize there's a note stuck to your head. What? Tonight's the big night, sleepyhead. Need to take care of some things first, but we'll be back soon. Don't forget to bring some food for the offerings tonight. And make sure it's fresh, too. Love, Dad. Oh, we have a face. What the heck? I'm oh, sorry. I meant we ha actually have eyes. I don't know if any of you uh, are familiar with Oats games. So they're, they're, they're like the characters, or at least the main character. Like, they don't really have eyes. It's the note. We're not alone, though, either, looks like. Is this, uh, Dias de Muertos? Ask like stuff? There's only one slice left inside. I guess we ain't gonna take it. This dude's partying over here all by himself. Hey, watch out! Leave some room for my brothers. I know they're dancing along with me tonight. Okay. guy over there looks so cool. I mean, he could stand still for hours. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh. Oh! They crunch. Food. Some sweet bread is left out. Take it. You got grave offering. I actually done forgot. That's how I get to the menu. Item. Yeah, it is dead, uh, used to muertos. Oh, what the frick? Alright, well. I wonder if there's like any, uh, anything happens if I step on all the leaves. Crunch. Boop. Boop. Before we go down, I'm gonna crunch all the leaves. Jesus, just not gonna hit the leaf! Alright. Can I put anything on the plate? No. Well, let's go down. She got not free samples. Ew, you got snot going down your nose? Look at the size of that leaf file. Bet you nobody'd be bright enough to jump inside. No way. Jump in. Uh, 
whipped. <laughs> oh, this is like a fast travel. Are you serious? Oh my gosh. Oh, what the fuck? Okay. Well, we can't cross over. Crunch. Watch. Crunching all the leaves gives us like a bad ending or something. Pizza, you got one napkin. Looked like a gross napkin too. Can't go anywhere. Ugh. Why? All right, back we go, I guess. Jump in! Cemetery, where does this take me? Because I went to the old cemetery, right? Oh, that's how I get to the other side. Another napkin, really? All that for a freaking napkin. Honestly, it's probably to put on, put on the plates or something. For the Day of the Dead. <laughs> well, uh, are you good? Yeah, you actually did it. Where'd you even go? I went. Uh, I went to several places. How do I get to that napkin? Oh, well, got a napkin. I'll talk to you. What the fuck? Wait, is that? Is that blood? Whoa, hold up! Can't let you cross just yet! Someone spilled some sauce all over the sidewalk. That's totally what that is. Gonna need at least three napkins to clean all this up. Oh, well, sir. Would you believe it or not? I actually got some. Oh, are those three napkins for me? Thanks! Now I can finally clean this up. Feel free to stop by the stand for some juice if you can. Even better if you bring a friend. Hmm. Oh my god. Evening. There'll be a presentation a little later tonight. Maybe come back with somebody also. Okay, let's go up. I saw a blonde chick come this way. Crunch. 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 Hello. Ah, another kid. God damn. What is this place? This is still part of the cemetery. Just a little older and full of, uh, less popular people. You know? Easy forgotten folk. Anyway, try not to stick around for too long. Don't want to tangle with whatever's out there. You trying to say there's something out here, man? You're not got that. I, well, I already don't like how I don't like the noise that was. The noise that was just made. I don't like it. I think it's just dog, though, maybe. Yeah, dog. That is not a dog. That is not a fucking dog. Aw, don't be afraid! Hey! 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 Looks like the poor thing's starving. Don't worry, you can come closer. They've only really bit one person, to my knowledge. Besides, I doubt they have any energy for anything else. <laughs> it scared me, that scared me. I don't know why that fucking scared me. It drew some blood. Oh man. I I think it ran back there. You bitch. What? What's with the resting bitch face? It's not my fault you happen to be standing right where I was trying to hide. Are you bleeding? I uh... Looks like it took a pretty big bite there. Hold still. You got pink bandage. Wow. I'm healed. I'm practically healed. There. All better. 
Thanks. You're welcome. We should probably stick together, just to be sure that doesn't happen again. Go up there, make sure the dog's alright. Or go back. Up to you. You take the lead, though. Oh, yeah, I will. I, I most certainly will. You lying ass motherfucking. Mm -mm. They're safe. Bright pink bandage used to stop the bleeding. Nice. <laughs> oh, jeez. There's no save, I don't think. You gonna leave something here for the dog? Leave grave offering. Sure. Why not? Even though he bit the fuck out of me. Oh. My. God. You see its mouth moving, but can't understand the words. You can also make out what looks like a tail. Something's attached to the other end of it. However you can, hear its stomach rumble. Any sign of the dog? Bitch, do you not see the fucking dog in front of you? It continues to talk unintelligibly. The eyes. Darting from you to the other. His stomach rumbling becomes worse. I can't see nothing. Blood drips from your clenched hand as your wound reopens. It stops talking. You then feel nothing but the cool night air return. As if a door was closed somewhere. So, do you see something there in the dark, or...? Huh! What you got there? You got... Sail Pan de Muerto. Cool, I guess, anyway. You wanna head out? How'd you not see that the fuck? you not see that terrifying fucking devil thing? Woman? Child? Thing? Person? <laughs> what the fuck just happened? Okay. Right, um... That was fucking horrifying. I don't ever want to do it again. Bread made for offering long ago for the deceased. Anyways. Oh, he's gone. Some sweet bread is left out. I get. Huh, they must have left. You got grave offering. Excuse me. Oh, wait, what? You'll have to forgive my sister over there if you received some attitude. People have been asking for free samples and stuff all night. Oh, that's your sister? Doesn't help that she's got a case of resting bitch face, too. But you're a kid! Maybe try going back there with someone. That'll soften her up. Get some free food. Haha. <laughs> Uh. Well. Psst. Hey, kid. I think she's talking to you. Both of you. Jeez. <laughs> you know why I called you two over here? Definitely not because you caught me sneaking some samples earlier. You two can get your samples. By working for it. Uh, I certainly didn't expect to be doing this tonight. What were you expecting? Just a boring night with people I don't know, really. Normally I'd still be eating Halloween leftovers tonight. That explains the pink costume. Who let you go out like that anyways? Halloween was two nights ago. Usually it's just my mom and me this time of year. She lets me keep my costume on a little longer. But I think she met someone. That's probably why she dragged me over here instead. To say hi to my new family. But I think I'd rather be here. Doing something instead of just waiting around for them, you know? Oh, I know. Families drag, but when you do have to wait for something, it never hurts to wait with someone. So you won't feel so alone. And that's what siblings are for. And look at that. You've finished making your own food. 
You got street tacos. That sounds kind of good, actually. Hope you learned your lesson. Now get out of here. I got customers. I guess we could talk to this guy. Evening. Hey, you're just in time for the presentation. Shh. No, actually not yet. No worries. Not the first time I've scared off some kids. I forgot how quiet uh Oats games are. <laughs> you wanted this, right? Boy. I know you're the one taking the grave offerings around here. Don't worry, you're not in trouble. Looks like I'm not the only one who's been stealing stuff tonight. Shut up. At least I stole from people who were alive. If not for the dead, I'm sure that food was of some use. That takes me back. It smells like stale bread. You hand over the stale pan de muerto. <laughs> you know, some food is for the dead. But this food is for me. Gracias. Damn shame I can't get bread like this from the source anymore. <laughs> uh, wait a minute, she had no dialogue. Dang, that guy over there still looks cool. I mean, he can eat and cry at the same time. <laughs> it's not really that uh it's not really that hard to do. Let's see, is she gonna say something about this? Oh, offer street tacos. You weren't gonna eat your food? Well, I still got my portion. Wanna split? Oh. So I was actually supposed to wait around here. For the new family. But it looks like no one's here yet. I think I can ask you a question. If you knew you were going to lose someone, what would you tell them? Would you hold on to them for as long as you can, even if they're gone? Or would you grow up and move on like they wanted you to? No harm in growing up. How old are you? <laughs> I can't whistle right now. That sounds like something my dad would say. If he were still here. You know, somehow when you say it, moving on and letting go doesn't sound so bad. Thanks for the laugh, though. You're welcome. Oh, we spoke! What's with your face? No filter, huh? Had a disagreement with the local wildlife. Got a little scratched up, but as you can see, I'm all patched up. What are you doing? Visiting a friend. I'm gonna say fuck that dog this time. Starting this time of year, people around the world begin to gather for the holidays. And among that many traditions practiced, the passing of stories is our way of keeping the past alive. Not only to know where that we come from, but to learn from it as well. Day of the Dead. Dia de Muertos, or the Day of the Dead, is celebrated in the two days after what is now called Halloween. The first day is for the children who have passed, and the second is for the adults. 
It is ultimately a celebration of life and honoring the dead. Some of the things we do is leave out food and other offerings in addition to making altars dedicated to them. While there is significant overlap with other distinct religious holidays, the ways we keep these traditions alive evolve with time. Folklore. There are all kinds of stories passed through the generations. Some eliciting laughter, while others... Fear. Fear of things, people, or things that used to be human. Where the only justification is the supernatural. Stories like La Llorona, a woman scorned who drowned her own children after witnessing infidelity. Or El, C El Saban, the whistler, a lost soul who wanders the countryside carrying a sack filled with his father's bones. And there's also tales of beasts like the... Oh gosh, how do I say that? What? A weasel? A weasel? What's... <laughs> Whatever. A hungry hound that drowns its victims using the hand on its tail. Oh, we just ran into that. And another... And other mythical figures used to explain the great and horrible things in life. The reasons for why these stories are told change along with the times. Sometimes they're told to scare children to be good. Other times they're told to warn adults who have lost their way. Our religions. In the modern day, while the medium has changed, stories still circulate. Now, more than ever. Sometimes to scare, yes, but other times to build a narrative. To, to, to sell something, or what have you. These range from where the best pizza in town is to all kinds of teenage horror stories. Unfortunately, intent with these narratives can often obfuscate the true nature of events, and render the suffering of people caught in its wake for naught, but such is history. Time to go. Stay safe out there. Well, I did not mean to do that. No worries. Maybe if I interact with a dog, I might trigger something? You're gonna leave something here for the dog. Yeah. Wait, what? Oh, I have to steal something. Let's not steal anything, then. Uh, what's going on here? Been coming here every year to dance for my brothers. Show them I've been on the way. But what does that even mean anymore? I don't know if there even is a way anymore. My brothers have long since passed. I am the only one of my brothers to survive. And yet, I can still feel their spirits. I can still feel their hearts thumping. Maybe it is I who has not found the way. Maybe they have found the way. Maybe. Maybe. Actually, let me check something too before we do the other ending, I guess. Jump in. Can we jump in with her? Ah, <laughs> oh, there she is! 